Hello everyone, it's Sal here. A very warm welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. So today I am really happy to be reviewing a fragrance from the uh, fragrance company Frederico Mahora. So they actually got in touch with me and um, very kindly offered to send me one of their fragrances um, for me to review it on my channel. So once I had a wee look on their website, um, there was one in particular which really caught my eye. Um, it was number 359 from, their, from the uh, Pure Royal range and this fragrance is actually a dupe for the discontinued Mugler fragrance Alien Essence Absolute. So I had really, really been wanting to get my hands on that fragrance, you guys. Like, I really loved the sound of it, to be honest. So when I saw that they offered like an alternative, you know, a dupe fragrance to this uh, discontinued one, I was super, super excited to give it a try. So in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is I'll just give a review of the fragrance that they sent me. Um, I'll just be reviewing the fragrance itself. And then later on in the video is something I'm really excited to do. So actually, um, the wonderful uh, Chantelle Tiffany here on YouTube, she has actually sent me a decan of the original Alien Essence Absolute. So like the real original fragrance, I have that here. So thank you so much Chantelle for sending me this. Um, I really, really appreciate it because it means that I can actually give like an, an even more accurate review of how good I think this dupe is. Um, because if you guys are wanting to know actually how similar it is to the original fragrance, um, I'll be able to give a more accurate sort of um, comparison for you guys because I've been able to try the original. This is actually the second time I'm filming this review video. So the first review I did was just, um, I reviewed this fragrance, but I had never tried the original. And then when I um, found out that I was actually going to get to try the original one, I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna refilm the whole video because I think it would just be more helpful for you guys really to hear me talking about this, you know, in comparison to the original, rather than me just reviewing this with no reference whatsoever to the original fragrance. Oh, we sip of tea. Okay, so first things first, um, let's talk about the packaging. So um, the Pure Royal fragrance, uh, this is the 50ml bottle. It's a really nice kind of creamy, pale, champagne-y gold colour with shimmery gold detailing on the box, which is really, really pretty. So it says Pure Royal here, that's the name of the fragrance line. Um, and then the box opens out at the front like this revealing the fragrance inside. So that's the bottle there. I think it's really pretty, it's really kind of simple and understated, but it also looks quite um quite nice and glamorous at the same time, I think. So it's a glass bottle, really pretty, and again you have the kind of shimmery gold detailing on the label here. I just think it looks pretty classy, it's a really nice bottle in my opinion. The lid just comes off and then the atomizer is like that. So it distributes a nice fine mist, which I really appreciate. Um, the atomizer of a fragrance is really important to me, so that was a big tick. The fact that the actual sprayer is really nice. So upon the first spray, this fragrance is just so nice, you guys. The first time I tried it, um, I was really taken aback at how how instantly I could recognise the alien DNA in here. So instantly I could smell the alien DNA, so like that signature alien smell, which I'm sure most of you may have smelled, um, that kind of jasmine, ambery concoction, which is just absolutely wonderful. But immediately I can detect differences. Um, it smells very much like an alien flanker. However, this one, it's alien, but shrouded in a kind of vanillic cloud. So this one is um, kind of almost a bit uh, sweet, kind of slightly balsamic slightly kind of balmy as well so it's a balmy kind of vanilla jasmine sort of smell and it's just absolutely wonderful like if you know what the original alien smells like if you just imagine that but with vanilla and kind of more diffused so this one to me is less harsh than the original alien um this one is more kind of smooth softer a bit sweeter maybe just because it's got the vanilla in there and it's just, it's super, super nice. Um, for any of you guys who already adore Alien and if you like vanilla and things like that, then this is basically a kind of combination of the two. So if you can just imagine that, 
it's really really lovely. So I've already had a couple of full day wears of this fragrance, um, it does last quite a long time on the skin, um, I would say maybe around six to seven hours, that kind of thing. However, after a couple of hours, like it does become a kind of skin scent fairly soon, I would say. I mean, the whole day I could kind of smell it on myself, but it definitely calms down. It becomes closer to the skin after maybe three hours, that kind of thing. I can't quite remember, but the longevity is okay. I would say maybe a six or a seven out of ten, that kind of thing for the longevity and also the projection. So it's pretty strong, but it's like not as strong as the original Alien Eau de Parfum, like no way. Um, but it's still pretty good. It's pretty decent lasting power on this one here. One thing I would also say about this is initially when you first spray it, it has a slightly medicinal edge to it. Um, it's quite strong and you can definitely detect that alien signature DNA in here. However, as the hours pass um, and it becomes a bit softer and close to the skin, as well as that, it also, um, the actual alien smell, I would say, is dialed down a bit and the vanillic aspects of it kind of shine more. So as time passes on the skin, it becomes sweeter, more kind of vanillic, more tame, and the alien smell, like the alien kind of aspect of this, quietens down quite a lot. But overall, it's a stunning fragrance. I'm really, really happy to own this. It's a very, very pleasant smell and it's just really, really nice. So when it comes to the differences between this dupe and the actual original Alien Essence Absolute, there are some differences between them. So first of all, I'll talk about um, the differences between the actual smells themselves. So as I said with the dupe, um, initially you can smell the Alien DNA more, and then as time passes, that kind of calms down and the vanilla comes out more. With the original fragrance, I would say that that's not really the case. I would say that the um, it's initially when you first spray it, it is kind of stronger. The medicinal aspect to this one is is stronger as well, and also as time passes on the skin, the alien DNA remains. Like the alien DNA in this one, it doesn't really calm down that much. Um, it kind of stays just as strong as the vanilla aspects. Like they both um, remain throughout the duration of the wear. So basically this one stays truer to Alien, like even after some hours of it being on your skin, but this dupe here, I would say after some time, it just mellows out to more of like a pleasant vanilla with a hint of jasmine kind of fragrance. Sometimes I feel almost a bit like um, this dupe makes me think of perhaps if they had reformulated the original and they'd made it slightly less potent it makes me kind of think maybe this is what that would be like, um, you know, like a reformulated version, like not quite as potent a version. Um, however, on the whole, basically they smell really, really similar. So I would say the actual smell itself, especially when you first sprayed them, they're like really similar, like 95% similar. Um, the only difference is really being that this one is more potent, and as the time passes, like it's more, you know, it's stronger and it stays truer to alien with the vanilla aspects, whereas this one, it becomes just more vanillic. Um, but on the whole, like they are really, really similar. When it comes to the longevity and the sillage and everything, um, with these two, I would say the original one is again stronger. Um, this one isn't quite a powerhouse fragrance. Like this one kind of, I think, has a reputation for being very, very strong. Um, I mean, I think the concept of the fragrance itself, like Alien Essence Absolute, like you would imagine that to be concentrated and kind of strong and powerful and things like that, which this kind of is, this one not so much, um, although it is still pretty decent. It's just not what I expected, you know, um, Alien Essence Absolute to me is more of like a strong, um, long lasting powerhouse fragrance, but this one isn't really like super, super strong. So overall, the original Alien Essence Absolute is a bit of a stronger fragrance. It's a bit more potent um, and this one isn't quite as strong, but they do smell very, very similar. And if you are like me and you really, really wanted the Alien Essence Absolute, I think you would really, really like this one. To be honest with you, I'm absolutely ecstatic to own this now. I love it and I don't feel quite as like disappointed at not being able to get the original one. Like I'm really, really happy with this one, to be honest with you. I think they've done a really good job at recreating that fragrance and um, I think it was really nice. It was a great idea to do that because um, 
many from what i've heard many many of us would like to get our hands on the original but it's just really no longer possible because it's so hard to find and it's nice that they've come up with this solution because i think it does scratch that itch for sure like it's really really nice you guys it's like alien but with some vanilla and it's just wonderful the only difference being really is like the slight differences in the concentration of each aspect so like this one smells more like this has more of the actual alien DNA in it um, and it has that more like of a medicinal edge to it initially this one and this one still smells like an alien flanker and it still has that slight medicinal quality to it but it's not as strong and um, but overall this smells really really similar to the original so once again I would just like to give a huge thanks to Frederico Mahora for sending me this fragrance for review and um, it was very kind of them and I absolutely love it and also I would like to say a huge thanks to Chantelle Tiffany for sending me this decant as well um, so I could compare them and give like a much better, more in-depth comparison for you guys. Um, Chantelle is wonderful. If you haven't yet checked out her channel, I'll leave her details below. Like definitely check her out. She does amazing fragrance videos. Um, if you enjoy the kind of videos that I uh, make, then you would definitely love hers as well. So go and check her out. And ultimately, would I recommend this fragrance to somebody who really wants the Alien Essence Absolute or to somebody who likes jasmine fragrances, vanilla fragrances, um, would I recommend it? Yes, I really would because it's a brilliant fragrance, the lasting power is pretty decent, the smell itself is beautiful and also, um, I can't remember if I mentioned, but it's really good value for money as well. So this is a 50ml bottle and you can purchase this for £26.50. Um, I will leave lots of information again in the down bar below with like where you can buy these. Um, I'll leave lots of links to do with the Frederica Mahora company as well um, because I just think this is a brilliant alternative, especially when you can't buy the original. Like it's really, really nice that they came out with this. So I really hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, if you did, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and uh, subscribe to my channel for weekly fragrance related videos uh, if you haven't done so already. Thank you guys so much for watching, take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye!